A quick look at some points. This is a short radius electro frog point. Um, the main problem with this point is that it's short radius. As you can see there, I've added an extra bit of check rail um, just where I've put a gap because being electro frog, it needs that gap. Next to it is an insole frog point. Notice how little plastic there is. My view at the moment is that there's no need to install electro frog points. Moving over to another one. There's another insole frog point. Yeah, a short bit there um, between the end here and that point there, uh, there's no pickup from this side. So once the wheel leaves that, it's on plastic, air, and then it will pick up the current again. But even if we look at the electro frog point, the gap is much shorter. That's the insole frog. There's the electro frog. It's a short radius point. So the gap is from here, where the end of the metal is, to there. So it's a much shorter gap. I do have a three-way crossing, which is a nightmare. Uh, don't install them unless you really are, as I am here, tight for space. That's Electro Frog. Uh, so we've got four, no, three Electro Frogs there, which in theory should minimise the uh, gap. But with modern locomotives, just about all the other points on here are Insel Frog. And I have no problem at all with DC or DCC. Uh, with locomotives running over here. Uh, in a previous video, you will have seen that I've um, overhauled uh, an A3 so that it's picking up from all wheels and it's picking up from just about every wheel on the locomotive. Uh, the tender wheels and the driven wheels on the locomotive, six and eight wheels. Um, so that's uh, 14 wheels picking up from. So has no problems at all over Intel Frog. We do have 040 locomotives. Here we have one. Those are going to be the ones that would have the greatest problem. But as long as we've got good pickups and the point is flat, if it stalls on a point, try rocking the locomotive. What you will find is that the point isn't flat. So perhaps when laying, laying a point, we should not be nailing the point down because knocking in the uh, track pins can actually distort the point. If we're weighting it down while gluing it, it needs to be weighted with a big, broad, flat uh, board so that it is absolutely flat. So the flatness actually is very important. However, if the point is flat, that uh, insole frog point there with the plastic insulation uh, will cause no problems for that 040 uh, running very very slowly over it because as soon as the wheels are on the insulating part the other wheels are on these bits. It does mean we need to have good conduct continuity and the continuity is made between the switch rail contacting the uh, stock rail and there's a little tab under that switch rail to contact the stock rail uh, and that tab needs to make good contact as well as the rail itself. If there's a problem with a point when it stalls, check that by just pulling here to increase electrical contact. When installing electro frog there's really a need to have switches underneath to switch the polarity of the frog. Uh, and that can be quite complicated. On the simple points, uh, you don't need the switches underneath it switched with the uh, switch rails. So uh, you don't need a separate switch. That switch is another potential point of failure and difficulty. And I've yet to properly set this point up so that it reliably switches the current every single time. Uh, so if you can get away without the switches, it's possible with one of these points, if you find that it's not making good contact, 
to retrofit a switch somewhere in the system. So all I'm doing is saying don't feel you have to install Electrofrog because you're going DCC.